Hello, my little lovelies. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I'm going to show you my very late um, April 2023 polish pickup and Hella Handmade Creations haul. Um, picked up several, uh, several more than necessary. Um, and I want to show you what I got and maybe down in the comments, you can tell me about what you got. So let's start with Hella Handmade Creations. Um, these are the polishes I picked up. We actually have a bonus here. Uh, that we will get to. This is my little bonus polish here. Um, but let's see if we can organize these a little bit better. I got two from Painted Polish, Yay! an Atomic Polish, a Bee's Knees, Lily Pad Lacquer, and Girly Bits Cosmetics. Now, on my wish list, I had this guy. Lily Pad Lacquer was the only one on my wish list. Um, and mainly that was because the cap was at 35, 35 bottles available. And I remember putting that on my wish list because I wanted to. I actually got up in the middle of the night to place an order, so I didn't miss it. So let's take a look at that one first. This is Lily Pad Lacquer, and it's called Down on the Corner. It's part of their uh, series that they're doing based on CCR songs. Uh, for those of you who don't know, CCR is Credence Clearwater Revival. Um, I think there's a country band as well uh, that uses CCR, but I really don't know what, what their name is. So, um, This is Down on the Corner by Lily Pad Lacquer. And take a look at this. It is sort of like a silvery blue base. And it has all of these lovely color shifting glass flakies. I don't know if you can really get, there you go. Maybe you can see, um, it, please excuse my dry nails right now. I, ha I need to paint my nails. Uh, these nice like glass flakies in there. As I turn, you can see kind of the purple shift in there. Um, I thought this was just super pretty and I really, really loved the, uh, <laughs> the name and that counts right the name counts so here it is on a swatch stick um see if you can get some of that glass flaky and i just thought it looked really good or i thought it would look really good with my skin tone i really love blues and greens um let's see if you can that's a pretty good shot i love glass flakies and these are some nice color shifty ones so that is lily pad lacquer um this is the first polish i've owned from them um so we will see how it goes uh they come in it looks like 11 milliliter bottles so it's on the smaller side but still i think when you have a polish that is really unusual and it's not just a cream i think it's okay to to get maybe a smaller bottle and enjoy the and enjoy it for a while so that was the first one I picked up. And then, um, let's talk about our Bee's Knees. This was not on my list, um, but I really enjoy Bee's Knees lacquer, so I usually pick them up. They come in the really big 15 milliliter bottles. Uh, this one is called Evil Comes in Every Size, and I don't actually know if this is part of the series, but this is a gorgeous blue base. Um, a sheer blue base with a teal shift. I don't think you're getting as much of the teal as what I'm seeing in real life. I mean, you could tell there's a shift here, but it's much more um, vibrant teal. And then there's a really fine shimmer running throughout. You can really see the shimmer up here towards the top of the bottle. Um, and I, you know, I'm a sucker for these kind of polishes and Beast Knees I think does such a wonderful job with these sheer shimmery polishes. Let's take a look at the swatch stick. Do I have it? Yes, I do have it. Um, and you can see how sheer this is going to be. My swatch sticks are actually three coats because I paint the back as well. I don't know why I, I started it that way, but since I started it that way, now I do all of them that way so that um, my swatch sticks are consistent, but you can see that really pretty shimmer when I, when I tilt this swatch stick back and forth and it is going to be sh fairly, fairly, um, sheer. This is, you know, three coats and you could still kind of see my nail underneath. So imagine that was on the nail. You would, you would definitely see, see some visible nail line. Um, but such a gorgeous shifty polish. Bees Knees is um, one of my favorite brands. I just discovered them. Actually, I discovered them right as they were releasing their last collection. They no longer 
release polish on a regular basis. They participate in polish pickup, hella handmade creations, um, fandom flakies, I believe. Um, and there might be a couple of other like sporadic boxes that they do. So if you are interested in trying Beesney's lacquer, um, you can join a lot of the Facebook groups and maybe get some in a D stash or just, you know, watch out for hella handmade creations of polish pickup. Cause I mean, they really put out quality polishes. Um, look at that shift. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous when I put that on. So that's bees knees. Evil comes in every size. Next up, you know what? This actually was on my wish list. I forgot this was on my wish list, and this is from Girly Bits. This is my first Girly Bits uh, polish, and it is part of their Mrs. Maisel, the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel uh, series, and it's called Have Plunger Will Travel. And this was on my wish list because it is a teal purple shift. Look at that as you turn. Teal and purple all the way around with that soft shimmer. And you get a little bit of, you know, you get a little bit of gold, um, but really it's just teal and purple having a big old party in there. So I picked that up. Actually, that was um, one. I ordered these two together on my little in the middle of the night uh, order um, because those were the only two on my wish list. And then, of course, when I woke up, I had to, you know, look at some other ones. Um, but I just I think this one is gorgeous. This is also... Does it say on here how big this one is? Oh, this is also 15 milliliters. I don't know why it looks smaller than Bee's Knees, but it's not 15 milliliters. So we're gonna try this out. I've never tried uh, Girly Bits, but this multi-chrome, um, the sort of teal and purple multi-chrome is one of my favorite combinations. So I wanted to pick this up and try it. Let me give you a look at the swatch stick if I have it in here. I should, I put all of my swatch sticks together hopefully it's still oh there it is there it is okay on my swatch stick you really get the tea well when you look at it next to my skin you're getting just the purple but there you go on a black background you're really getting um you're really getting that purple and teal there you go when it's on that black background Right down the middle, you're getting that really gorgeous teal. And then on the side, you can really see the, the purple and then that soft shimmer that's running through. This is just such a beautiful polish and I can't wait to wear it. Um, I don't think it's going to be, it might be slightly sheer, I think. I mean, that's three coats. Um, but I think when you're wearing multi-chromes, well, you know what? I don't mind visible nail line. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't mind, I like visible nail lines, so um, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, if you do, maybe a blurring base coat would be uh, best for you. And, you know, try it out. Maybe you might like it. So, girly bits. All right, let's move on to Atomic Polish. Atomic Polish is one of my favorite brands that I've discovered in the indie realm. And this looks like a simple pink cream uh, polish with um, a slight shimmer in it, but it is not. This is called Dreamfire. And the reason this wasn't on my wish list is because this looks like a purple cream. I mean, a pink cream. And I don't really do pink creams, but in real life, it is more on the lilac side. And anything that leans purple is okay with me. And here you go, in this light, there you can see this shimmer that is a blue shimmer right there. Right here is a blue shimmer. And that is the reason that I bought it. Um, I have already worn this and I believe I have a picture of it and I will show you. And I cannot tell you the number of compliments that I got on this polish, um, mainly for my mom <laughs> because I see her every day. Um, yeah. And she just loved it because every time she looked at my nails, she asked me if I had painted my nails um, with a different polish and I said no it's the same polish and she's like from every angle it's a different color I love it um, so this is atomic polish let me see if I can get you a better look at I think over a black background maybe I should wear a black glove next time a black background it still looks very pink um, really you need sunlight to see oh, no! the blue the blue shift 
Um, but this is just, it's insanely gorgeous. So I recommend if you were wanting this one and you missed out, definitely try some D stashes, but also as we get closer to, um, uh, if, as we get closer to the next Hella Handmade Creations round, start checking out their Overstock page. Um, they put out, you know, some Overstocks, and actually, I got another Atomic Polish through their Overstock, their 2022 anniversary polish called Koala. I picked that up through Overstocks. Um, so they put out a lot of fun um, Overstocks. So check that out. All right, now let's move on to our painted polish. So painted polish is doing their blooming blush, blooming blossoms um, series. And these are the first two. This I got in March and this is April's, but I wanted to show you the March to, so you could understand why I, I, you know, I wanted to collect this series. Now, yes, this is pink. And I just told you, I really don't like pink, but this is a nice blushy pink that because of all the neat shifty glitters in here, it doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing, you know, dusty rose and it's the 1980s and I should be watching Designing Women. Not that there's anything wrong with that because Designing Women was a fabulous show. Oh, I love that show. So this is March and it is Blush Blush Baby. And it is that nice blush pink base with all of these color shifting glass flecks in it. They've like, you could see orange, red, gold, um, sort of a purpley, uh, purpley shift as well on the bottom. Um, so that's March. I thought that was really pretty. Um, I just wanted to, to show you kind of the bonus one. This is April's uh, offering and it is called Blushing Blooms. And this is just something I really enjoy. Um, you know, I enjoy kind of an unexpected combination and I feel like a nice, dusty rose leaning mauve with green and silver glitters is unexpected you know you don't really see that quite often um and you can see as i turn the bottle that all the glitter has kind of settled into weird places um that happens a lot with glitter and what i like to do is um, before i'm going to do my manicure i will pop the bottle upside down um, and put it in like a nail polish holder or put it you know put it somewhere so it'll balance this this one won't balance because it has, you know, a, a round top, but put it, you know, just for 10 minutes and then all those glitters will just kind of um, move down to the bottom so you get a nice application of glitter so you don't get, you know, just the, just the bare color. Um, but that is really pretty. Blush, blush, no, this is Blushing Blooms. And let me show you the little swatch stick. I think I was pretty lucky on my swatch stick. I got a really good sampling of the glitters and you can see they're mostly green glitters but you can really get that silver feel as you turn it um i think this pink is okay with my skin tone i would not wear this pink just as a cream um but i think when it has things like this like the glitters or the flakies in it um it it does do well on my skin tone so those that's everything i got for April Hella Handmade Creations and one bonus in March. Um, I think I really did did well. I know it's kind of a purple, purple, blue, and green. That's what I usually go towards. So you're going to see more of that in a second for polish pickup. So let's pick up these and put them away. And then let's show you the, um, uh, what do you call it? Polish pickup. And if you hear any cartoons or yelling in the background, that is my son who is home, quote unquote, sick from school. I know there are three days left and he's homesick. Um, you know, sometimes as a kid, you just need a break, right? And I think he's having one of those days where he just wants a break. So let's take a look at my polish pickup choices for the month. All right. Okay. Now, let's be honest, these were on my wish list, these two. These were the only two on my wish list. And then these guys snuck in there. Don't know how it happened. Let's talk about my wish list guys first, okay? Lumen and Ethereal are quickly becoming my favorite polishes, um, my favorite brands. They are just killing it lately. So let's talk about Lumen. 
Lumen Nails gave us Silken Path and Polish Pickup for April. I don't know if you remember their theme was flowers. Um, this is Silken Path. Yep. And I, I think my camera is going to be able to pick this up. It is this gorgeous, it's very sheer. It is a sheer lavender base with this blue, sh like shifty shimmer in it. I hope you can tell the blue shifty shimmer. It's very difficult for my camera to pick that up, but you can see it almost looks like my camera's blowing it out right there, but there is that blue shift. This is absolutely gorgeous. And um, it's definitely something that I will wear all the time. I've worn it already. I will um, pop a picture up for you. I'm on the hunt for a dupe because polish pickup, as you know, is you know a one-time only thing. So. Um, They've already announced that the Polish Rewind that they're offering in July is going to be Glass Frog. Um, so I know this one's not coming back. So I'm already on the hunt for a dupe. Um, I don't think the swatch stick is that impressive. It looks, I mean, it looks like nothing over my hand. You can get a feel for that blue um, over black right there. You can get a feel for that blue. But when I pop the picture up in the video, you will see how truly stunning it is. And then Ethereal gave us Sakura. And I have seen on the Facebook groups um, that I'm a part of, Sakura is already um, very, very sought after, um, which I thought was very interesting. So this is a very sheer pink jelly base with a purple shift. You can see that purple shift at the, at the side of the bottle and holographic um, glitters. I think they're glitters. They're not flakes. Let's see if I can get closer. You know, maybe they're kind of flaky. They're small flakies in there. Um, but this is kind of like a cherry blossom-esque uh, polish. And I have not worn this yet, but I'm very excited about this. I know it's pink and I don't really do pink, but I thought it was really gorgeous. Here is the swatch stick. And I don't know if you could tell over my skin, you really can see how that jelly pink and then when I lift it you can see how that blue flashes right down the middle um, and then that nice sparkly. So that's Ethereal Sakura. Ethereal came out with a polish I think it was either February or May called Coffee Cloud and it actually reminds me a lot of Lumen but it has like a, a coffee taupe base um, and it's gorgeous. I'm, I'm savoring that one. Um, Let's move on to another new to me brand. It's called Fair Maiden. I believe Fair Maiden actually just decided to, um, they're sort of discontinuing and the two partners are opening their own brands separately. Um, so we'll have to take a look at that. If I can find them, I will link the Instagrams below of the two new brands. This is called Dilly Dahlia. Um, Dahlias are so pretty. And again, this is, one of those multi-chrome combos that I can't resist. It's teal, blue, and purple, and it has a subtle, subtle shimmer. It is, it's going to give you more of the purple than the girly bits. Here's the girly bits that we looked at. So you can see there's quite a bit of a difference here. You're going to get mostly teal with the girly bits. And here with the Fair Maiden, there you go. There's my son yelling in the background. You're going to get the blue or the purple here. And so here is the swatch and over the black, you can see all that purple. And then as I rotate it, you get that teal shift. And here close up is that really pretty micro shimmer. So that's Dilly Dahlia, Fair Maiden. Um, let's move to another one that I have worn already. Um, this is Cadillacers Orchid. Uh, Orchid, yes, Orchid, that's right. And it is a aqua, a light aqua crelly base um, with these hot pink, gorgeous hot pink glitters and the glass flakes. The glass flakes running throughout um, and then those hot pink, pink glitters. There are a couple of different sizes of the hot pink glitters. And look as I rotate it and the glass flakes reflect. It is a really, really gorgeous polish. I wore it um, in two coats. Here is the swatch stick that is three coats, of course. Uh, and you can see I got a big chunk of 
glass flex on the swatch stick. Um, it is pretty transparent because it's a Crelly, so it's it, you're gonna get a lot of transparency and you're gonna get those hot pink pops in it, but it was really fun to wear, really pretty. Um, and if I had time and patience, I think a hot pink micro French with this would be so gorgeous. So that's Cadillac or Orchid. And then the last one, which actually I have on my toes right now, is from Polish, and it is called I Can Buy Myself Flowers. And let's be honest, I bought it simply for the name. Um, this was a very late addition because I saw the name, and then I couldn't stop hearing the song in my head, so I bought it. And it is a purple, purple and teal shifting multi-chrome with just chock full of glitter i mean you can see those are some pretty good glitter chunks um and it's it's a nice purple uh with the teal you can see the teal as i shift the bottle on my toes i feel like the teal is the majority um it kind of pulls more teal on my toes um but I think it depends. It might depend on your angle and your skin. See here, you get a lot of the purpley blue. Um, over the black, you still get a lot of the purpley blue. There we go, thank you for focusing. Uh, but you can see that teal shift. Just on my toes, I happen to see the teal the most. And this is Polish, I can buy myself flowers. And that's what I picked up for the month of April from Polish Pickup and Hallahammy Creations. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, checking out my haul and let me know if you got any of the same um if any of these were on your wish list and you missed out hopefully you were able to get what you wanted um thank you for joining me and i will see you in the next one bye everybody